Hey everybody, Eric Wagner here with another video. And this week I want to talk about these things called locators. Uh, what exactly are they? Uh, a, lo a locator is just a really fancy way of saying I want to have a search bar in my map that allows users to look up addresses uh, or particular features of interest. Uh, so let's say you have a, a dashboard or a field maps application and you want a user to be able to type in an address and take, it to, take them to that location on the map. Uh, or maybe you want them to be able to type in a particular asset ID uh, like fire hydrant 15 and it automatically takes them to that location on the map well that's actually really easy to configure and set up and that's what we're going to take a look at now so let's go ahead and jump into arcgis online and take a look all right so here we are i have a dashboard and in the event you want to know how to build this dashboard take a look at the links down below you'll see there is one there that walks you through how to build this exact dashboard that we're looking at but in particular uh, notice here in my dashboard, I have this little magnifying glass. This is my search bar. Uh, if I wanted to, uh, by default, I can always type in an address uh, like 200 Water Street and click on my option and it'll take me to that location on the map and even bring up a pop-up for me. Now, what if I wanted to not just look up an address, but actually look up a feature by a known attribute that maybe we've already put into the system, such as its asset ID, as I was mentioning earlier. Well, by default, that's not possible, but we can easily configure it to do that searching for us. Well, how do we make that happen? Well, if we kind of take a step into the anatomy of how applications work in ArcGIS Online for just a quick second, uh, remember that a dashboard is powered by an underlying map in most cases. So I need to go to this map within my ArcGIS Online organization and do a little bit of quick configuration with it. So if I hop into my content, I can see, here we go, here's that dashboard we were just taking a look at, but I know that this dashboard is actually powered by this underlying web map. So I'm going to click on that item in my content. And then I'm going to click on the settings tab in the upper right hand corner. And if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, I will see I have this application settings section here. And this is where I'm able to configure what people can search by in that search bar. So by address was in here by default. That's what allowed me to type in 200 Water Street earlier. But if I also want to allow people to search by a layer, I can check this box. Now, what this will do is this will pull on the layers that are currently in this web map. Now, for me, this is a very simple web map. It only has two layers. But if you have a map with more layers, hey, that's totally fine. So I can click add layer and then I can say, okay, so which layer do I want to create a search for? And I'm going to say my hydrants layer. And then I say, which attributes from that layer do I want to have someone search through? And it lists them all for me here and I can choose asset ID. And then I have the method. And so when someone's using the search bar and I start to type something in, it can be uh, contains whatever it is I'm typing in. So for example, if the asset ID is, you know, fire hydrant or FH-47, as soon as I start to type in like FH- dash, it's going to start to do a little bit of autocomplete for me. Or I can make it be equals where it has to be typed in specifically and exactly. I like contains personally because it gives you a little bit more flexibility. So what this will say is that for any application out there that has a search bar that's pulling on this map that I have, uh, my hydrant inspections map, if anyone goes to start searching for a hydrant by its asset ID, it's going to allow us to start to find that in the map automatically. It's that simple. Check the box for by layer, choose your layer, choose your attribute column, and then choose either contains uh, or equals. And here's the thing. If you have multiple fields within a layer that you want people to search through, I can add hydrants in here multiple times. Or if you have hydrants and valves and mains and all kinds of layers, you can add as many of these as you want. You build them out as you so choose. When done though, make sure you press the save button in the lower right hand corner. So with that, the item has been updated. So I can come in here and if I now come into my dashboard and refresh it, since we made a change to it, I'll still have my search bar here. And if I wanted to, I could still search for 200 Water Street. The address functionality is still available to me. But now if I start to type in uh, FH for fire hydrant, you can see that autocomplete from that contains function is allowing us to see uh, what we have. So if I want to search for fire hydrant 47, you can see it autocompletes for everything in the 470s. But I can click on my asset of interest, takes me to that location on the map, and automatically opens up the pop-up for me. Uh, if you have other applications out there as well, such as a simple viewer like this one in Web App Builder or any of the other configurable templates, you will get the same functionality here as well. 
So I just refreshed it and I can do the same thing. Again, FH-47 or any other asset that you have, it will click on it and be taken to that location on the map quickly and easily. So this is a really great way that we can start to build out these locators, but we're not done yet. This same functionality we have for this locator can also be used in field maps out in the field as well. So I'll go ahead, I'll pull up my iPad or uh, iPhone or Android screen here. And uh, here's that same hydrant inspection map. But I'm gonna uh, tap on my back on my maps here and I'm just gonna reload this map to absorb those changes. And now if I click on the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner, I can come in here and I can search for my assets uh, of interest. I'll tap search. And there we go, we can see we've got our fire hydrants, tap on it, again, be taken to that location on the map and see all of its attribute information. So it's very easy to build these out for any layers that you have in a map, so that way it is accessible in the applications that you're using across your organization. So in just a couple minutes, we took a look at what are locators, how can you build them, and how you can use them. So I hope this is helpful. Maybe you can start to implement it to allow field crews to quickly look up assets or addresses while they're out in the field or back at the office. And as always, thanks for watching.